Hi traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are doing good. So today we are going to analyze Bank Nifty um, on multiple time frames and I will also touch upon the point that uh, uh, how do we invest the markets whether via mutual funds or an SIP, what is the right time to do it and I will tell you in detail uh, along with the help of a technical analysis on the chart. Let's get started. Uh, let's look at Bank Nifty on a um, monthly time frame first or we will do reverse this time let's look at it from a three minutes time frame and uh, let me show you something which uh, you might not have observed okay so if you see the three minute time frame it is in the consolidation phase right now look at the moving averages 20 and 200 they are close to each other now okay now uh, keep that in mind and just Go back. Okay, now you can see there is one more phase where it was completely close to each other and it was it was in consolidation phase. Similarly, if we move forward, you will find from a broader point of view that you now look at these moving averages. Market is always in a consolidation phase where the moving averages are close to each other 20 and 200 and there is an expansion then again there is a contraction then again there is an expansion either on the upside or on the downside same thing continues on and on so this is how the market moves in the pattern it forms always there is one consolidation phase where you can see that you should be happy when you see that 20 and 200 period moving averages are close to each other so that you can expect either an upside rally or a downside rally. So this is the point you should wait and take an entry upon the breakout. And how do we identify breakout? That is also an art. Uh, you know, if you learn the candlestick patterns, you'll be able to understand easily. So this, this is what I wanted to show you on a smaller time frame that it always consolidates and then either goes up or goes down and again it starts consolidating either it goes up or it goes down like this so always look out for these kind of signals wherever you're getting 20 and 200 near to each other then expect an out, you know, outburst to happen either on the side upside or a downside so let's look at this chart from a monthly time frame if you see the monthly time frame then you will understand that you know how good is this strategy on a longer time frame so now if you really want to invest in markets whether you want to buy a mutual fund or invest uh, in in the index funds etfs or just trade the index you know this this particular uh, strategy will work there always look for an entry near the 20 period moving average and always above the if the candle closes above the previous candle previous month's candle okay if it closes above the previous month's candle you can take an entry and wait and again if you have invested here in the mutual fund your returns would have been really nice and book some part of it and wait again you'll get an opportunity when the market comes near the 20 period moving average this candle forms invest again Again, you invest here. Again, you invest here. Like this, even if you time the market right, the mutual funds will also give you good results. And even if you want to invest in uh, bank nifty index funds or nifty index funds, you can do that like this. So, on a broader time frame, you see the market is at the previous peak. Okay. And uh, it is likely to take out this peak. We have hardly uh, five days left in this month. Okay, the previous peak was 37708 and this was 38112. So the previous peak has already been taken out in this. So it might go a little higher uh, in next, next week or starting Monday onwards. Let's look at it on a weekly time frame now. Okay, weekly time frame, it has formed a peak and it is closing at the top of that zone okay so we can expect 
this is a rally this is a base formed it can be a base or it can be a drop let's watch out what is it going to be on a daily time frame if you see it's a base candle again there is a possibility that it can form a drop from here or it can form a rally from here mostly it looks like a rally from here it might take this high and form a new high okay so that is the view about the market and let's also scan uh, for stocks which are giving us a entry on a weekly time frame let's go to charting go to weekly super trend then run our scan so we have bal krishna industries Okay, let's analyze this stock i think i have already added this stock to my list here yes bal krishna industries on a weekly time frame it is it is an uptrend but it's gone too far uh let's apply our uh, super trend here and see if it makes any more sense to buy at this level because i'm not seeing the volume you see notice the highest volumes where is it it is here it is here okay so it is about the super trend but uh, i don't think it's a right entry for us to you know buy way away look at the distance between these two moving averages and the price price has gone way far away and it's completely opened up so you know we need to wait for the price to come here and form a pattern so i don't think this is a right entry for us to take on this so i have some more stocks which are there here let's analyze them as well idea you have to keep a watch on this okay this can be a good point for us to take once it breaks this 17 mark it can go upside till that time the stock is in downtrend only or we have to wait for a rejection to short it at this level but yes if you want to play on a shorter term you can take accumulate here and exit at 17 or 18 that is quite possible and stop loss will be below 5 rupees let's look at indus towers indus towers is given a nice breakout it's about scream moving averages and the volume is also pretty good so it can go higher from here let's look at z z is uh, hitting its 200 period moving average barrier and there is a selling which is coming from here uh, but wait for this and uh, any close above this 200 period moving average will take the stock to a the pretty decent levels you can hold it for long term igl has dropped from here but it is still holding the support and it is still above the rising 20 period moving average you can hold it if you have an entry and titan is still bullish it's still going up look at the rising 20 and go further up but wait for a retracement for an entry Your entry can be at this level, eighteen seventy. Ekm, Ekm, we are still holding. It's still rocking. It can go up. ECS is also pretty decent. If you notice, if you notice, all the stocks they have taken a nice support at two hundred period moving average. This was a perfect entry for you for long term investment, and they are. going up even if you follow our own strategy weekly super trend would have given you an entry here your stop loss will be this super trend you exit here again you get an entry here you enter here fail the stop loss state bank of india is also is in good uptrend Reliance is going to go to a new territory now. It's pretty high. It has taken nice support at two hundred. 
then taken support at 20 and now it's forming a new high. It has given an entry on our system here that is on 31st May. IRCTC is still going up nicely. Kotak is still bullish. Hold it for long term. Indescent Bank, it has to clear this 1271 mark. Only then you can expect a huge rally for this stock, which can go up to 2000. ICICI Bank nicely going up. Let's see AU Bank. AU Bank is not worth holding this. I think it's already broken the super trend. Axis Bank is also having a resistance at this level. Let's wait and watch. Let's look at Bharti. Bharti is going nicely. So this setup will actually give you good entries and wherever there is a uh, it's not going in your favor. Always exit with the super trend. Uh, the moment the candle closes below the super trend, you can exit and look out for stocks which are giving you an entry. There are plenty of stocks which can give you an entry and follow the same system and ride it for uh, weeks or months wherever the super trend uh, is not giving you an exit. Okay, so that's it for this week, guys. And uh, hope you like my videos and uh, you know keep subscribing and sharing with your friends who wants to learn the market. Thank you so much for watching.